Hello, hello everybody, how's it going? Scalper Hero is bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial and this is for Toucan Studios. Now, the first tutorial for Cinema 4D that I plan on doing was meant to be the fight scenes, basically, how to animate a fight. But instead I did a first person view as well, which is just basically sticking a camera in the Minecraft head. And then parenting kit, obviously. But this time, I am going to do a fight animation. Well, I'm not going to. Do, I'm going to do this in part. So the first part, this is the fight stance, uh, setting up your guy for a fight stance. Now, usually with this, I start with a running animation and then going into a fight. But this time, I'm going to do things a little bit different, and I'm going to start with a fighting stance. So basically, now, as you can see, this is my brand new rig. I won this in a competition, and I got third place. The top three players, the top three renders got a customized rig for their skin. And this is what I won. And I've got to say, this rig is just totally fantastic. Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. I mean, just look how fantastic that actually looks I mean it is just so bloody great it really is and I gotta say thank you for picking me for third place now I didn't actually think I'd actually win but hey anyway let's get started now obviously the first thing to do is to actually bring him down a little because you you're never fully straight up unless you're the type of person that likes to stand straight um, but hey but no one stands straight in any fight the parts of the body are always bent. Now you don't have to actually animate a character to fight as if as, as if someone else would in real life. But it does help, I tell you that. It really does help if you go off by that, basically. So if you're going like that. Now you guys might not actually be able to copy me because this rig has special little things. <laughs> this rig itself I mean, it might not have smooth bends, but I really don't mind not having smooth bends. I like the sharp bends because it makes it look better in a way because it is still Minecraft and it shouldn't really be smooth. Well, curved, shall I say. So, we got that for now. So, if we just go here and then turn him like... Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's not it. Is it? Oh man, it's not doing it anymore, and I don't know why. There we go, it's doing it now. So if we go like that, turn his body a little bit, and then we will turn his head slightly back that way. And I can actually rotate these so it looks really smooth like so. Which, I don't know if you guys will actually be able to do that with your rigs, because I don't know what your rigs, your guys' rigs have. But my, this is what my rig has, so it's all good. So if I move him forward a little bit, I move his foot a little bit, like so, and you always want your main foot to be your back foot. Say like if you're right-handed, you want your right foot to actually be back more than your left because you'll end up using your left foot, your right foot more. So yeah, and then bring him down a bit. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. Now I wouldn't actually be able to do this with my other the other rig that I used to use because it didn't have the features that this one does. But still, you guys might be able to do it if you get the pose right of what you actually want. Now you don't have to go on my pose; you can go on any pose that you like, and uh, it will st it should still help you out. So if I go like that, and if I just move that up a bit like that and if I can I'll move his wrist in a little bit as well and then move his hand forward see you always want your weaker side facing your opponent because that's just realistic now as I said before you don't have to actually go on realistic styles you can just go on your own styles or what you think I mean, for all I know, your Minecraft character is left-handed, so either way, it's still all good, it should all work out great. And if I just bend that there, and 
No, that's a bit too bent. There we go. We'll do like that. Hmm. I think his body needs turning a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. That'll do it. And then move his head again, like so. Is that it? Let's just have a look at that first. Cause that looks nice. That looks really nice. Oh crap! Why did I click? <laughs> all right, all right, come on, come on. There we go. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks really nice. His posture is really nice as well, so it's all working out well. And if we just go to the back, have a look right here. You know, I'm gonna add a light just so that I can see. Now my my guy actually might look like Herobrine that's because technically he is with the white eyes but this is actually Scalper Hero. <laughs> but hey, you guys can call him Herobrine, I mean, you can call me a copycat for all I care but at the end of the day I like the no eyes and I like the black suit as well. I got the black suit idea actually, I did copy the black suit idea because uh, I saw Gods Don't Bleed and gods don't die and the guy that animated that his hero brand is black suited and I thought it looked absolutely fantastic so I looked all over the place for a black suit so in this and I gotta say this really just look really nice that needs to be back oh no I just pulled that up a bit I don't want to do that okay what's that look like? how's that how's that how's that Alright, okay, there we go, look, see, oh, I know what's wrong there, <laughs> no wonder I weren't getting it right, because his body's too far forward for his back leg, there we go, now if you look at that, that looks absolutely fantastic, this is part one guys, of how to animate a fight, now in the next part, it'll be part one of two, because I'm actually going to be showing you how I animate my fights, well, my main fights anyway, which will always start with a run. Which then again I don't need, really need to do a video on that. Because I just told you. Because it's just normal run. And you can animate a fight from starting with that. But this is if you want to start with a stance. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Please leave a, please leave a rating. Please leave a comment and telling me what you think. And if you really enjoy our videos, please subscribe. And thanks for coming. I hope to see you in part two on how to animate a fight. Peace.